This show is sponsored by PrintByMagic.com. We print directly to your bicycle playing card. Hello and welcome to the Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony. Today I'm going to be reviewing two products. I'll be reviewing Bliss by Noel Qualter and I will be reviewing In Play In Sight by Matt Johnson. Uh, then I'm going to be giving you a couple of tips uh, about our newest trick, a blistering, and showing you just a couple of the new tricks that are on the shelves right now available at magicworld.co.uk. Okay, the first trick for a review is In Plain Sight by Matt Johnson, retailing at £22.99. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. I have some questions for you. First of all, raise your hands out there if you have ever heard of the Magic Square. Now raise your hands if you still perform the Magic Square. Exactly what I thought, not so many. Well, that, my friends, is about to change. Uh, Emma, would you um, think of a number right now between 1 and 100? Hey, guys, Matt Johnson here, and I want to welcome you to In Plain Sight, the most commercial piece of magic and mentalism I have ever created. For the first time ever, I'm going to teach you my real-time, no-memorization, tried and tested version of the magic square. But I believe one of the squares there has your number in it. It's not in there. Your number's not in any of those squares? No. Are, you, are you serious? No. What you're about to learn is a staple in my professional working repertoire. Look, look at this, look at this. 83, look. 8 plus 62 <laughs> is 70. 81 and 2 is 83. Look, 63 and 1 is 64. 12 and 7 is 83. Not only that, but down. 11 and 49 is 60. 4 and 5 is 69. 69, 69. 2 and 7 is 9. 9 is 18. 51 is 69. This square is 81. This square is 81. This square is 81. And the middle square right there, 1 and 12 is 13. 16 and 6 is 81. That is awesome. <laughs> Could... How the hell do you do that? I perform this close up. I perform it parlor. And I've even performed it to a sellout crowd of 3,000 people. All you need to provide is a pen and some business cards. Everything else that you require comes inside the box. You can learn it in minutes and you'll do it for a lifetime. My name is Matt Johnson and this is In Plain Sight. Hey, I've missed doing that. Cut to trailer. Or... Well, this is in plain sight. It's released in just a couple of days' time. It's on pre-sale right now. And uh, this is a product that if you've never yet done Magic Square, then this is a perfect introduction to it because it's not only workable as a close-up routine, but it's also very, very workable as a stage routine as well, which he goes into in great detail on his video instructions, which I think are around about 50 minutes, if I remember correctly. Now, he has his own way of talking about things and teaching things. Um, and, of course, you know, I kind of knew how the magic square works. So I just wanted to get into it. Um, so, in depth, he taught how to do the magic square, which is great for the people who don't know how it works. Uh, for the people who do, um, it adds an element to it. And I'm not going to say too much, but a barcode has something to do with it. That's all I'm going to say. Um, now, this barcode is not 100% unique. It has been done before to certain degrees, but the way it's been done here is a little bit more unique in terms of the way the barcode has been structured and also then the idea of being able to use it instantly uh, so that you don't have to memorize any of the magic square whatsoever. Uh, you are ready to go almost on the fly from the moment you get it. So once you've watched the video, you can probably be doing the magic square in under in under five, ten minutes. It's very, very basic maths. Uh, so you do not have to worry about maths. That's the number one thing. Don't worry. I am not the best at maths by any means. However, I could pick up this trick really, really quickly. And uh, the magic square is a super simple and yet super effective trick. So there's many different versions of Magic Square. It's been out for a million years. Um, a recent one I really liked was also on a Rubik's Cube. So I'll put the link to that on the show more section as well. But this version is nice. It plays in walk around. It plays small because um, you only have to have a small number of blank cards on you for his version of the trick. But really you could do so many other versions of it. You're going to ask a spectator to think of a number between one and a hundred. 
Uh, there's a bit of psychology in this. That's all I'm gonna say, but they choose a number, let's say 65. Uh, you will have to do a tiny bit of mentalism at this point, which is detailed in many ways of doing this. So there's more than one way around this. He teaches you a nice handling with blank card stock. Once you've done your tiny bit of mentalism, you are good to go. You can draw right in front of them. You can draw a square with the numbers on it, and all those numbers will add up to the spectator's number. If you go along the top, along the bottom, all the top four squares, the bottom four squares, diagonal, whatever you do, it will always add up to their magical number. It's super simple, it's easy to do. Is it something revolutionary and new as a product? Um, I'd probably say no, because at the end of the day, Magic Square has been out a long, long time. It's kind of reteaching something, but just added one element to it. But having said that, maybe a second element as well, because the psychology and the routine that he teaches is very, very nice indeed as well. Um, so that plays well, it works well in an intimate situation, and it also works just as well on stage, as he said as well, and as he demonstrates. So for me, it's a nice all-rounder product. It's, it's a nice price, it's not too expensive. And inside you will get a plastic uh, sort of box, for carrying cards around in. You'll be getting the barcodes, plenty of them as well. Uh, you'll be getting the full routines uh, on video download. That's everything you get inside the pack. And to be honest, that's all you need. It's, it does what it says on the tin. It's a nice product by him. It works well and you will be doing it in no time at all. So in terms of, yeah, it's nothing crazy new, but the way he teaches it is new and also the barcode system and where it's put and, and being able to just do it on the fly is a massive, massive bonus. So I'm gonna give this a rating out of 10 just for the fact, you know, I like the Magic Square. I think it always plays well. I think it's a nice little product. It's nothing new, nothing crazy new, but it's a new take on it. And for that, I am just gonna knock it down a couple of points, but apart from that, I'm still gonna give this a solid seven out of 10. So seven out of 10 for in plain sight, the price is great. And certainly if you like your magic squares, give this version a go. Uh, it, it just plays on the fly. Or if you've never done it before, especially, and you don't know the system, then this is definitely a great little buy. So let's go to product number two. I am super excited about this product. Bliss by Noel Qualter. Let's cut to a trailer of this product now. <laughs> Imagine a signed banknote disappearing under impossible conditions and reappearing in the most amazing location. Who's got a bank that I can borrow for a moment? Who's got some like sweet uh, folding yeah. cash? Yeah. The big money. What have you got? It's Perfect, that'll do. That door's a starting point. Am I going to get it back? Uh, probably, we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'd like to. Can I get you to put your initials on the note? Yeah. A little squiggle on there would be great. Yeah. Very good. And put the lid back on that for me, then I'll cheat those things. Take that back. Uh, can you put your hand palm down for me for a moment? Okay. And hold onto my wrist for me nice and tight. Hold onto your wrist? Hold onto my wrist. Watch this. Three, two, one. No, 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 you should just close Oh, now you're feeling that feeling of loss, I understand. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a business card, put your PayPal details on there, I'll send you the cash tonight. Uh, put your name on there for me for a moment. No? Duffer? No, Duffer. Do you know there might be a little bit of a jam. Sorry, I'm going to live with that. No. <laughs> 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 I'm that, see if it looks familiar. Oh my god! <laughs> The gimmick effortlessly vanishes, loads and locks the bill. It does all the work, but you take all the credit. It's a beautiful item to hold. Um, thing looks sexy, just like me. It'll make magicians smile because of the cute and clever method, but it'll devastate your audience as well. 
I'm Mel Porter. <laughs> and this is Bliss. Okay, I'm back and let's review Bliss by Noel Qualter. This comes out at £129.99. So that is actually a very, very good price. We've just made the price um, a really nice, attractive price online. We've reduced it slightly. So uh, if you're after Bliss, now is definitely the time to go for it. What is Bliss? And it's, well, it's No Qualter's first release, as far as I'm aware, in terms of Through Murphy's Magic. It's the first one on there. And uh, right from the start, it's a very, very nice product. I think Prop Dog has helped with the production of this product. And it's overall a beautifully presented box, built loaded into Sharpie's system. The box is always nice, you know, it always helps. And when it comes in a big white box with a magnetic lid, you know that it's an expensive item, that it's worth a lot. And it lives up to the expectations. Let's just say that right at the beginning. It lives up to every single bit of expectation. So <clears throat> there are cons to it and there are pros to it. So let's go through them all. Early on, just a few moments ago, I showed this routine, or very, very basic routine, to Scott. It was the first time I'd ever done this. Um, I'm going to cut this slightly in little places just so that nobody can see anything, but uh, overall, it fooled him. He really liked it, and uh, it's a fantastic little product. Let's cut to it now. Uh, right, I need for this a note. So, uh, do you have any money? I, don't think, I think I've got five. You've got a fiver? That'll do. Cool. Let's borrow this fiver. Uh, I'd normally get you to sign it, but forget signing it for now. Just have a look at the, um, should be a serial number on it. So okay. 625742. Right. Just so you know it's your hey, AK-47 nearly. Mm -hmm. uh, you've got to really roll it up tight. Now this is the uh, the tearing it in half trick or the burning right, the note. Right, so we're yeah. actually going to burn your... Don't worry, I wouldn't do that, mate. I wouldn't do that. Mm. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it inside here like this. And actually, just watch. <laughs> vanishes completely. That's it. That's, that's it. Cool. I don't know. So that is bliss. Bliss. A lovely little trick, isn't it? Awesome. Right, I'll see you later, Scott. Yeah, I'm not getting my five. I don't know where it actually is now. I've got my Sharpie in my back pocket here somewhere. Let me get my Sharpie out. Oh, where is it? There it is. Um, inside the Sharpie here, you get someone to then sign something or okay. give the PayPal details, but the pen then doesn't work. That's the whole point of it. Right. And then, uh, actually, let's see if we can... I'm not sure if this actually comes apart, but... Let's see where this is going. Yep, of course. You kind of just unscrew it slowly, and inside is one note. Open it up and confirm. That is your note, Scott. That is my note. Right, I'm stop that is good. That I like that. Do you like That's it? A really good trick. I haven't actually seen it firsthand, and it does look really good. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's like it just actually disappears. It's because it double acts as a vanisher mm. and as a yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah. So if I would have signed it in the first place, it would have been amazing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, glad you like it, yeah, mate. I do like it. It's very good. Right. Okay, so let's try a real-world example of this. So I know the camera's up here like this, but you can be doing this trick either wearing a jacket or wearing a hoodie or a long shirt. Now, personally, it's more, it's going to work a lot, lot better with a hoodie, with something that's covering you beyond your belt line. You're going to need a note of somebody. They can sign the note, they can do whatever. You can roll the note up. Now, there's a little bit of um, work to be done, but not anywhere near the amount as maybe others. I mean, there's, um, there's Bill and Marker by Nicholas Einhorn, which is a fantastic made marker. The downsides to that product were the fact it wasn't a Sharpie. It was a, a much thicker pen that not many magicians use in the UK or EU or USA for that matter, but it still is a fantastic product. But it requires you to do a little bit of sleight of hand uh, at some points. So that is where this device takes over and it adds the potential of being able to place the note inside an actual Sharpie, which is a huge, huge bonus, especially to me as a walk around performer. And not just any Sharpie, you could, no, you can use any Sharpie. So in the future, if this one ever wears out, guess what? You can just get another Sharpie. Boom. Super simple. So you'd get a note signed at some point. 
Then you would uh, take hold of the note in your hands. So I'm going to try and do this up here. And you can either place it in your hand or you can tuck it into your hand. You can do it however you wish. You can hold it there, you can clap and make it vanish, or you can just make it slowly vanish in your hand. Or you can hold it up there for a, quite a long time and just let it melt away. However you decide to do it is fine for you. Then, I personally, there's many different ways of doing this routine, but I would go into something else. I'd go into another routine, I'd let the spectator really stew for a little bit. Uh, then I would at some point go back into my pocket and get myself uh, a Sharpie. Now, either, there's been a Sharpie always on the table and I simply put it in my pocket at some point and I come back out with this Sharpie or I, uh, what I really thought was a beautiful idea would be simply to have a Sharpie in their hand from the very, very beginning. And just at the very end, just, just take it off them, just pass it from one hand to another. So take their Sharpie and pass it from one hand to the other and now be able to produce the note from inside the Sharpie that they've been holding on to from the very, very beginning. Uh, there's a tiny bit of sleight of hand to that method. That's not a method taught on the DVD, but I quite like that idea. Uh, but there's tons of ways taught on the DVD. Basically, you then take out the pen, they try to write something, but you realize that the pen doesn't work. Then you slowly unscrew it, and inside the pen will be a note. You pull the note out and that will be their signed £10 note. So that is bliss. This is a normal pen right now in every way. Now in terms of the reset, I will do the reset right now so that you can see how long it takes. Da -da -da -da. The reset is now done. So that is a very nice aspect as well. The reset is under 20, 30 seconds. So all in all, what do I think of the gimmick itself? Well, it's a beautiful utility. Now this utility, I'm just gonna say houses and takes a normal Sharpie pen, but in a special way. And it allows you to load a note inside. Uh, it's easy to do. The only part that takes a little bit more faff, a little bit more work, um, is the actual, I'm just going to say the word load, that's all I'm going to say. It's a little bit of work to get that once you make the note vanish, at the point here, like a ring flight, that you then have to do the second part, that one little part there will take a little bit more time. Uh, but. I've only been doing it for a few moments now and already you can see that I'm doing it fairly quickly. You do get used to it and in the motion of going in your pockets and talking with the audience and misdirecting, generally you will find it very, very easy to do. So all in all, the device works as it says on the tin. It allows and acts like a vanisher by royal magic. You know, the little plastic things that you used to put a pencil in and clap and it vanishes. It actually does the vanish for you, which is beautiful. And then, uh, it almost does everything, you just have to do that final little move, one little extra move as you get the Sharpie out and bring it out. Now you can leave it there on the table again and you can do something else and then at the very end just open it up and there is their signed note. It's a beautiful device, it is £129.99 which is definitely the higher price range. However, if you're a working pro, uh, this I believe is a product that I think you will use. It clips on the belt and it's a very, very thick and sturdy clip. It will not come off, it will not move, and it works well as an actual product. It will not stick your jacket out too much either. It's maybe protruding about this much out the back. So that's how thick the device is. I wrote down a few cons here. I mean, the only con was say the pen does not write, but does that really matter? In fact, I think that acts to the uh, adds to the actual performance. So it's not really a con at all. Uh, the size of the unit is a little bit chunky, but not enough to cause any problems. And because it's on your belt, it's not taking up pocket space, which is a fantastic. Um, pros, yeah, acts as a vanisher, easy. It eliminates sleight of hand pretty much completely and well made. And also the thing that makes it shoot and vanish will most probably be able to be replaced very, very easily. So it's an easy, maintainable product as well that will probably last, well, will last you a lifetime. So I highly recommend Bliss. It's a great price at 129.99. It's on our website right now. Let's give it a rating out of 10. Nine out of 10 for Bliss.
a massive 9 out of 10 for Bliss. Uh, Noel, you did a great job on this product, and I know for a fact I will be using this in my walk around. That is almost the end of the review show. I'm just going to give you a couple of sneak peeks on the product that we released very recently called Blistering by me. Wow! Yeah, blistering. Now, blistering is a way of producing a blister at your fingertips. So imagine a spectator has chosen a playing card. Very simply, very easily. You load up your, um, your Zippo lighter, and at any point you light, you simply pew, pretend to burn your fingers, and now you hold up your fingers to the camera. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but then we get a very, very, very clear seven of hearts on the fingers. No, I have to get my face near here so the tip will, there we go. Seven of hearts. Now, this is a super easy to do blister system. I mean, it's mega easy. This is simply attached to my waistband right here on a little clip on a key ring. This is what was missing from the market, a way of being able to perform a blister without having to have a, a lighter around or this and that. You can just literally go to the side there, a little squeeze, and I've got a perfect impression on my fingers. The beautiful part about this effect that's just been released through all the major magic shops around the world, uh, it retails at £21.99, but I'm going to show you this little bag as well. Inside this bag, you get four amazing blisters. These have been injection molded. You get a plain circle. Just look at the quality of it. It's absolutely beautiful. You get a jack of clubs. So let's get that here. Let's see if we can get it in focus, a jack of clubs. Again, just look at the quality of it. It will last a lifetime. Thick injection molded ABS plastic. Same again. You now get something really cool, which is a, a star and wavy lines. And this comes with a beautiful, beautiful routine where Two spectators can choose uh, from five ESP signs and uh, you can get them to stare into the flame and imagine their ESP sign and next minute their ESP sign is, you just pluck it out of the flame and you say, was your card, was yours a star, was yours a wavy line? And it goes down an absolute storm. Then finally you get one more ESP which is the seven of hearts, the one that we just did. You get, also get a key ring inside it and you get a free phone call whenever you like. You also get the keyring and online instructions here, all provided on the Murphy's Magic website. Now, Blistering is a device that Dynamo has purchased um, a couple of times now and absolutely love the product. And just because it's so portable is why I love this product so much. Uh, you get four in a pack for £21.99, so it's a brilliant, brilliant value for money. And uh, these are available right now. They're available from myself, magicworld.co.uk. I'll put the link in the show more section. But also, it's available around the world from your favorite magic shop. Everywhere is selling these, and even it was in the top 10 for under, I think, $25, $30 or $40 at Penguin Magic recently for nearly a week and a half, two weeks. So check this product out. Um, Penguin has given it a beautiful, beautiful um, review on it, and also Magic Orthodoxy from Hocus Pocus has given a fantastic review of the blistering. So check out it, check it out um, right now because it is worth it. Uh, I can't review my own product and give it a 10 out of 10, but I'd like to think that it is uh, up there in terms of quality. Also, just to let you know, you get some great routines on it, and it really is a product that will last a lifetime. So check out Blistering by myself and used by Dynamo. Got to keep saying it. Right, that is it for this week's Magic World Review Show. I will be doing this now every week from now. I promise we are back on track in the new studio, which is about to open up for evening shows, lectures, and all sorts. So keep an eye on this page. We will bring you a competition next week as well. So thank you for watching this week's Magic World Review Show. I am James Anthony. It's great to be back in front of you all and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. I look really small. It makes you look really short. I look really it? short here. <laughs> I'm going to go on my tiptoes here with this one.